I-25, 9, 26. It's Jesus Day out in Los Angeles, and Lord knows L.A. could use some Jesus in their life. Minus 147 to the Angels, plus 132 to the Marlins. Total of eight, juice to the over at minus 120. B-Dub, let's start with you here. You got to play on this one. I think it's interesting. Detmer versus Jesus. Are, are you back in the Savior, or are you, are you going to be a, a Philistine here? Are you going to be a heathen and go the other way? Oh, I am being a heathen. That's for Ooh. sure. I'm, I'm going against Jesus. And as, as much as I, I like how he can turn a hot dog bun into several thousand, or, well, it, mm. he's Jesus. He could do it to several hundred thousand hot dog buns. Mm. Beer would be, I mean, the front office can just have him say, oh, hey, you know, we got one beer. Can you turn it into a yeah. hundred thousand beers? And so it, 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 you know, gives me pause. I'm going against Jesus, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Jesus has some, had some bad days too. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, don't want to yeah. get too far into that. That could be, really <laughs> be, be, be offensive to certain people. Uh, but uh, he did have some bad days. But looking at the stats now, and, and maybe, maybe Jesus is just trying to, you know, he could probably strike out 100% of the batters if he really sure. wanted to. But if so you look fun. at his, if you look at his strikeout percentage, it's at uh, 25.3% uh, over the last 150 plate appearances, which is good. But if you look at Reed Detmers, this is surprising to me. 29.3% puts him in the 90th percentile. And then one of the things that we did talk about uh, uh, about five minutes ago when we were breaking down the Rockies game was his barrel percentage and. Uh, Luzardo is a 12% 12 uh, barrel percentage, which is high. 17 percentile in a bad way uh, is, is, his, is his barrel percentage. One of the things tonight is that the, it's going to be hitting weather, guys. Hitting weather in Anaheim. And I don't, re, I don't do this a lot, but I'm going to lay a run and a half with the Angels. Minus one and a half plus 135. I still like their offense, not as much as I did at the start of the year, but they're still fifth in baseball against a guy who's given up a lot of barrels. And if you take a look at Trout, uh, he's at 10.5% barrel rate. Otani, 9.2. I like that right up at the top of the, uh, uh, of the lineup. Uh, I, I think that that's going to give them an opportunity uh, to score a lot of runs. Uh, you know, and it's interesting – I, I've told you that I do like the uh, the Miami bullpen, but they've been getting kind of hit hit around a little bit. Uh, but even even with that, I still I still like laying a run and a half here. I think it's a good opportunity to do that uh, with the Angels, Kyle. A lot of ways to go with this. So we have: are the Angels still in the outfield for the Angels? If Tony Danza comes in and Clark's trying to pitch, do we freak? Do we really like that number after that? Does he tell the Angels, hey? Quit helping the Angels because we're playing against them. And if I can think of one stadium, one city where fans are really saving money, really saving money on concession night, it's in L.A., right? Because you know the prices are ballooned there at Angel Stadium. So just a lot just a lot to unpack there. Corby, what do you think? We've got Angels in the outfield. We've got Jesus on the mound. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I took a, an angle at this one that I don't know if I've ever played, so this would be a first. It is Jesus or Jesus, however you want to call him, Lazardo over seventeen and a half or yeah, seventeen and a half pitching outs. So basically, for him to go six innings of, of work, this is a guy who can throw. Let's see, I have his numbers: um, 92, 93, 105, 106. Basically, a hundred pitches every outing this year. Uh, he's fine with going hundred pitches. So first off. I think in most cases that gets you really close to six innings of work. Uh, also, this is a Miami off uh, team who just used half of their bullpen last night. They they used right. what eight eight pitchers, and all of them were kind of forced to throw more pitches. Like it, it shows point one inning for Floro, but Floro threw twenty two pitches, and then uh, they they had a whole bunch of people throw a lot of pitches. They come down from elevation in Colorado. Lozardo is a guy that can give them bulk, and I think that they're going to need that in these series where like uh, the. You're going to see really good games in the coming days, and they're not going to get any any rest day in the near future. So I think this is a good spot to assume that Lazardo is going to play as long as he can, and he's shown for quite some time that he can go a long ways. Also, this is a an Angels team that I think people slack on. Like they they don't walk at all. They don't really see pitches a ton. They're 20, 24th in the league in, in walk rate. They've allowed a lot of starting pitchers to go pretty deep in the game. So I don't see any reason why Lazardo can't go six innings. Uh, and so I took the over 17 and a half pitching outs. I mean, Mark Holmes gets it. He says Jesus doesn't get tired. Like he could go two straight games if he wants. You don't have to worry about injuries, <laughs> right? Don't you just 
can he just heal it? He was such a he was such a generous guy though, and and uh, right. maybe he's gonna bring it back to the fish story with with Mike Trout. You know. Oh wow! Look, I mean, there's so many ways we could go with this. What what a gift the baseball gods gave us today. Marlins and Angels. And look, base winner, to your point, I actually have debt burst profiling better against the Angels lineup than does, or against the Miami lineup than does Lazardo against the Angels lineup. So I don't hate this year. Plus 135, debt. great price. Detmers is uh, one of those weird no hitter guys, right? I think he threw yeah. a no hitter last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't make like, any uh, sense. like the unexpected no hitter. Yeah. Angels he in the it. outfield. Clark was pitching. Danny Glover Mate. was in the stands. May 10th of last year, so it's it's this weather, it's this time of year that, that he likes doing it. So maybe you see another one. You're He's not going been to. really good from an advanced metric standpoint. I failed to mention this when I talked about it earlier, but 72 percentile stuff plus. And then his barrel rate is .057, so that's 90th percentile. So uh, I, I think that this is – you know, this is this is something that – and I was, I thought, well, hell, I, I – you know, like you said, Kyle, uh, to quote – Tina Turner, I don't mm. care who's wrong or right. I, I just, I'm, just, I don't really want to fight. Fight, fight there's, no there's, more. Just, just, there's too much. Too to much talking, baby. Oh, I love that song. It's my favorite. There you Tina go. That's Turner a good. One. Not, you know what? I'd listen to because because she died yesterday. Proud Mary, like mm. probably like five or six times, and then towards the end of that song, she she picks it up and she starts singing. Mm-hmm. And man, it, I just started laughing uncontrollably. My wife was getting pissed at me. She's like, "What are you laughing at? Oh, this song's so funny. It really was funny to me. It was funny." Anyway, Tina Turner, R.I.P. Tina Turner. Maybe we have to get something involved in the bass when rap. We get some Tina in the background, you know, just ah, just just get me in there, you know. Uh, but I guess love does have a lot to do with it, uh, as we say and. It was a sad day yesterday. For tr- for purposes of the show, we got two plays locking in. Corby's locking in. Jesus Lazardo, Jesus himself, over 17 and a half outs, minus 110. And, of course, B-Dub's locking in the Angels here, minus one and a half at plus 135. It'll be interesting to see if those can uh, – because those can certainly correlate for both of them to win, but it's kind of got to be a weird path, right? It's kind of opposite, but it could happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not all the way opposite. Because they could just they they could let it they could let let's say it's like maybe like four to two after you know six and so he's got to go what six whole innings to to yeah, win that six, bet so yeah, I mean I can see it happening I mean it's unlikely it's but who knows maybe it's since Jesus is pitching maybe it's in the stars but maybe it's in the stars and uh, Mark's right Fez gave us a winner yesterday the Sparks did cover that thirteen and a half by the way if you have a question. Any kind of question, baseball-related or otherwise, ask that in our chat box. Of course, at the end of the show, we'll get in the Q&A and answer as many questions as we can. My horse, Donnie, yesterday is a rat, ran third. I was very disappointed in Donnie. I was not very – or our Donnie is what it's called. And There's a nice number on it, and uh, I was kind of – just got off to a bad start. Got some dirt in her eyes, I think, at the beginning of that race and just never really uh, recovered.